We have an increasing number of people who have strokes in the United States and elsewhere in the world. And as we're saved from lots of very serious injuries from stroke, we have an increasing number of people who have disabilities that are left after strokes. The goal of the Center for Brain Plasticity and Recovery is to do the work required to develop breakthrough treatments. I wanted to participate mainly because uh, stroke is in my family and I didn't want the next generation, my daughter, to have to go through it and hopefully they could learn to help her and other generations. People should participate because they can contribute to our general knowledge of how we can make things better for recovery after stroke. We also like for people to participate because they can themselves receive benefits. So there are a variety of different kinds of studies and there may not be benefits directly for them. Sometimes people don't realize that we can't even tell them which group we're gonna put them in, whether they're gonna get the best treatment we think or not, we don't always know what the best treatment is going to be. So to some degree, participation in research is a gift to others and a gift to the future that may help us be able to tell what kinds of therapies will do the best for them and for others in the future. There are lots of different kinds of research, some of which involve physical therapy or occupational therapy or speech therapy, some involve medication, some of them involve specialized equipment, brain stimulation equipment. And so the actual circumstances of the project will vary from project to project. I look forward to participating, to go there. I enjoy doing it because it was helping me. I could tell each time I went to a session that I was a little better and it gave me a lot of uh, hope. We view people who participate in these research studies as partners. The research can't happen unless we work on it, but we can't do the research unless other folks volunteer and partner with us to help build these new treatments and these new insights into how the human brain works. And above all, I mean, I volunteered for a research project myself. I wanted to know that I was going to be safe, and I want to make darn sure that when we enroll somebody at the Center for Brain Plasticity and Recovery, that they're going to be safe, and they are. If you are interested in participating, call the MedStar National Rehab Hospital or call the offices of the Brain Plasticity Center at Georgetown University. We're on the web and we would love to try and fit you into a study if you want to volunteer and push treatments forward for people with stroke.